Hello everyone and welcome back to another Ethan Journal video. As you can see, I have a bit of a different background today and that is because we are going to be taking a look at Apple's old iWeb application. Now, if you don't know what iWeb is, it's essentially back in the early 2000s, Apple made a application for Macs that came out with iLife, uh, basically allowing anybody to build their own website. Uh, this came out in the time before Facebook and Twitter existed and before people would have online profiles on those platforms. But back around the early 2000s, most people would just have their own website. It was more of a more convenient thing to do. Um, and iWeb is what allowed people that had Macs to create their website pretty much for free. You could design your website, but then you had to pay for MobileMe, uh, which think of it like the really early version of iCloud because that's essentially what iCloud turned into because it went from um, uh, .Mac slash MobileMe to iCloud and that's where we are today. Um, and mobile me was just like iCloud, but way, with way less features. But other than that, in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at iWeb, trying to design a new website for my website, ethanryman.com, and just kind of getting nostalgic and seeing what we can build with iWeb and kind of exploring the old features and seeing if we can build a okay looking, somewhat modern website. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, everyone, so here we are back at the Power Mac G5, which is the same one that we used for the Marble Blast video a few weeks earlier. Now, first thing we're gonna do is go down here and click on iWeb. iWeb uh, changed over the years a little bit, but as you can see, I do actually have a website in here right now. This is my ethanryman.com page that I built when I, before I switched, switched over and started working on my WordPress site, which is still currently up, but I wanna change it and make the design look a lot better. But this would be what I was doing before that. Um, as you can see, um, let's just take a tour of this website to kind of show you guys what iWeb websites mostly looked like. So here you have the home page, and essentially you just create text boxes down here. These are the different box types that you could turn into images. You can add text boxes, you could change your theme along here with the taskbar. You had all these widgets that you could add in, like embedding a YouTube video, getting Google AdSense money so you could place advertisements on your website and make money off of that. You can embed Google Maps, iSight Photo, and iSight Video. Essentially, that allowed you to take your webcam, which back in the day, I, Apple made the iSight camera, allowed you to take that camera and record photos and videos that you could just have right on your site. Countdown Timer, which I have right here, an RSS feed, and then an HTML snippet, like you can embed like an HTML or another website. Um, over here, you have your page list. So this here is your website um, giving information. Like I have this published to a local folder on the computer. Um, and I have my information here. And then here's the home page is a page. Now you could also add blogs to your website and podcasts. So on this, I had a blog set up here and this was my blog page. So um, here you can see like, welcome to my blog. Um, and I had one of my photography images here uh, along with some information there. And then here's where you would add entries, um, which I have none because I ended up like scrapping this project earlier on. And then you have your archive of all of your posts there. Um, then you have your about. Now these pages are actually all created. You don't just get an about page, but when you go down to add pages, there are templates here, as you can see, that you could use to create them. But all of these pages, I just made with a blank template and just customized them myself. So here you have my about page that I designed, which is pretty simple. I went with the Gil Sands font, which I thought looked pretty cool. And it makes the old website look somewhat modern. And you have my parodies page, which I was just gonna like make parody products on and then downloads here, um, and which I have nothing there either. So that's essentially a rundown of this website. And what I'm gonna try to do in this video is try to make this website uh, look pretty modern. It kind of already does look modern. Like if you click here and you go to visit, it'll actually open up 104 Fox, which is the web browser that I use on here. Um, it'll actually open up that local fo folder and load in the HTML elements um, right onto here. And this is what the website looks like. So um, I opened it up, as you can see, it's loading it from a local folder. And this is the site that we just designed over in iWeb. As you can see, all the elements are loading in. And because it's like the old website editor, it's not gonna scale to your screen. Um, and because it's an old website, it's made with that center column effect. So it's not gonna use up your whole screen. And then you can go to like the different pages that we just saw, like here's the blog, here's the about, here's the parodies, here's the downloads. And they all load up here with that menu bar. And sadly, the header does not uh, match on every single page. I would need to add this ethanorman.com text to every single page in the header 
it doesn't automatically move your header with the site like mo most modern web editors do. Um, and then you can see you have the countdown timer right there. So that's pretty much what the site will look like when it comes out. And this is actually the type of theme I used was the black theme. So everything is going to be dark. If I, this is the white theme, which is identical to it, it just it has a white background. Um, so we can go back here and work on, let's try to create a blog page. So if we go here and we go to entries, we can add an entry right here. So I'm going to change this to Ethan Ryman. Um, actually, no, I would actually have to change this to what the blog title is, as far as I know. Um, let's think. Let's do uh, Welcome to my iWeb site. And I'm using an old Apple keyboard, which is why it's kind of hard to type. And then we can change this image. So I actually have here some folder here with some of my own artwork. Um, this is something I have through uh, Bricklink. So let's put this uh, thing in here. Um, I rendered that out of Legos on the Bricklink uh, Lego Studio. So that turned out pretty cool. Um, and then we can do like this and say, photo of Lego time machine because I don't know how to spell DeLorean but that's okay Saturday May 14 2022 so it has the correct date but that's just because the computer set that correctly and then I can edit here and say welcome to my website I do not like this keyboard <laughs> welcome to my i website this is my first blog post made during a video. And then that's my first entry here. And watch how simple it is. So you would actually hook this up to FTP if you're not hosting through MobileMe. But back in the day, what Apple wanted you to do was upload it through MobileMe. So you would make your website through Apple's MobileMe uh, cloud service. And you get so much storage that you would have through i through your iDisk, which is what Apple called like iCloud storage. It was called iDisk, um, and you would upload it through Mobile Meet. But if you hosted it through someone other than Apple, you could upload it via FTP. Or what I'm doing is just doing it as a local folder, which works okay. So I'm going to go this and publish my site, so we can go check out what the entry looked like. Okay, so now you can see it says visit site now. It'll load it up. And here's the homepage. Now, if we go over to blog now, you will see it'll have the blog post. And here's the blog post. You can see the image loaded in fine. We can see everything that we just added and the dates there and everything, which works pretty nicely. So now let's head back to the homepage and see about creating a podcast. So we can go here and add podcast, um, which we probably should go to the black theme. So it's uh, it matches with the site. Um, and it'll load in after just a little bit because it's essentially going to do what the blog does. It's going to create this category with your podcast entries and then archive. Um, so as you can see, there's the podcast. We have to change all these images. So we can go to my podcast. We could do welcome to the Ryman Report podcast. Because uh, that's where my podcast is that I'm currently working on starting. The Ryman Report and let's grab another image here um, from my drive. Uh, let's do, for now, let's do this Wisconsin home artwork. Oh, that, I forgot that's transparent. So yeah, it does use PNGs and PNGs will be transparent, which makes sense. But because the text in there is black, that was not the best idea. Um, so what we could try to do is, let's just do this Apple Macintosh, uh, which is another thing that I got from Bricklink. Uh, here and that'll load in like that and you can see that there's this effect here let's say I don't want it to be reflective at the bottom well we can fix that by going down here to the inspector and then they, this little inspector window pops up now here we can go over to this and we can turn off reflection so this is for blocks and images graphic inspector um, so we can go down here and turn off the reflection we can also add a shadow um, and we can make this white so we can actually see it and then you can see we have a little white, we added a white shadow to the image. But let's just turn that off for now so that it looks nice and clean here on the image. Um, and then you can subscribe with Apple Podcasts right there. And then you can search your podcasts. So if you go to entry now, 
uh, over to entries, which might take a second to load because it's still creating all these libraries um, for the site. Because again, this will mostly be hosted through um, MobileMe. Um, so you can delete that entry and add a new one. So we can do um, welcome. And then you would have your, you would upload your audio file here. You'd have your information here. And because we're recording a video, I'm actually actually going to do that. But when this website does end up going live, I will end up making another video talking about getting this website live connected to my domain. But that's not going to be in this video. It's probably going to be next week's video. But other than that, that has been my tour of iWeb. I'm hopefully going to do a video that dives more into the history of iWeb. This is more just exploring iWeb and seeing it. I'm also going to try eventually to come up with a video looking at my really old iWeb sites that I have, um, which I sadly could not include in this video because I have to actually find the laptop that they're on. But other than that, I would like to say, say thank you guys for watching this video. If you'd like to support me, you can head over to patreon.com slash Ethan's Journal and subscribe to any of my tiers. As little as $1 a month, you can get extra videos and see these videos sooner. Um, other than that, have a great day and goodbye.